Hello, everyone. Welcome to a Mint Mallet Run tutorial for Grounded. We're going to jump right into things. And we're going to get our beginnings started because we want to do this in under an hour if we can. I was... Well, we need two of those right away. I got super lucky and got two of them <laughs> right away. Okay, first things that you want to do is you want these shoes. So we want to scan. It's scanned, we get the slippers, then we want to do this thingy, here, yes, see, very, very nice, and then we want to do the rock, the rock will let us make the axe, the axe help, helps us collect grass, then we can get woven fiber faster, yada, 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 good stuff, okay, now that we've done all that, we want to double check our tools and we want to make a spear or an axe doesn't really matter i'm gonna make the spear right now and collect the goods for the axe on the way to go kill some mites because now that we have the capability to make the shoes what we need is we get 15 of these guys And it really takes no time at all. Once you get up to a certain point, as you see, I got nine of them and I'm not really seeing a lot more. You just kind of come up here to the right a little bit. You can see the big rake and then boom. There's quite a few extra. Something killed this one already. And we can look around and see that little spider. You also want to get those guys. Those little spiders will be absolutely excellent for webbing. Later on, of course, Starting to get surrounded though by little bugs and that's dangerous. So again, I just need to get to the 15 mite fuzz. And now they're starting to hurt me a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my weapon away and I'm gonna run. I got to that 15. Ooh, pick up a sap. We all love sap. Sap is definitely good. we need to make the pebble axe. Alright, now that we got those couple of clothes, we've got the axe all set. We come on over to our little shack. And now we want to analyze the sap. And the clove. Huzzah! Now we can go into craft. We want to try to craft a pebble hammer. And we want to look at getting a workbench. Since we had done the sap, we can now do the workbench. You can put the workbench pretty much anywhere you want, but once you start fighting bugs, they tend to get pissed off at your buildings more than they get pissed off at you if they're within the vicinity. So just to avoid any accidental Oh no, he's destroying my workbench. The baseball is a pretty darn safe place to put a bunch of starting stuff. And there we go. Now, with the amphid meat and the mite fuzz, we make the slippers. We equip the slippers, because we love those slippers. And we sort of set things to where we want them on our hotkeys. And now we are ready for the next portion of the adventure. Let's make the chest and the head. That will help reduce our hunger i'll make the hammer so let's take that hammer put it in a spot that we like all right so where we ran to is the tree you want to come to the base of the tree and you want to be careful here because there are spiders but usually in the beginning they don't mess with you too much because it's daytime this is a grub that is always handy 
you do need to get an acorn shell and scan it to, or not scan it, I think you just pick it up. And you can make the shovel. I was just wondering what he was fighting over there. Again, acorn shells are what we really want. We want to make sure we have a full set. You'll need six pieces for the full set and five mite parts. So right when you pick up the acorn, you can make uh, the acorn shovel. Now we're going to take this shovel and we're going to come for these grubs. Now we saw a couple of them and we want to, oh, is that, there was another one. We, we want to try to grab as many of these as we can in the beginning because they're very, very useful for two things. And that is canteen, as well as the more important than the canteen. Yes, more important than the canteen, make the smoothie machine. Okay, what we want to put in is a plant fiber, a clove, and a sprig. You craft that, and you now have the green machine potion. Green machine potion gives you hyper stamina, heals you, and a little bit of water. It's great. But our main concern is making acorn masks. and then acorn chest plate. And now we can go ahead and stick any extra crap we don't really care about in here. This is pretty much all you need. And now we run. Put the house to your right. Put the tree to your left. And run all the way until you see the bird bath. Make sure you stick closer to the house, but be careful as there is a mean guy, a very mean spider, who dwells on this side. You can take the longer route to the left. It's really not a big deal. But this board, <coughs> this is a spider's home. Yup, this board is, is a spider's home, but that's not even the mean spider. That's just a regular spider. He lives there. However, right now, because it is still early in day one, it doesn't really look like we have anything but the little spiders to have to deal with. There's Battle Toad. And don't worry about the water yet. Uh, frogs and other stuff will be added into the game, as far as I understand. Possibly even guppies, so be careful in the future. You may have to avoid the water and avoid a few more characters as you're running through this. Unless they change the beginning, which would also be fantastic, I wouldn't mind having to relearn everything that I'm showing you now. Because then I get to make another video. And I enjoy doing that. Alright, so bird bath on my right. Rock wall on my left. Keep running. Look, there's a berry. How pretty. I wish we could get that berry, but we can't. So door does not open you can look at it all you want again rock wall on the left bird bath right there going up twig go up twig whole bunch of cool stuff you'll find up here i'm not going to show you that because you can find that later stick to the left avoid that screeching spider and come into this cave area here and over by these bones you will find a rotten ant club go on the other side of where you find the bones there will be a backpack with 10 heads since we're here Right now, on the other side of the bird bath, is the area where you get all of the berries. And now we do have the Rotten Ant Club for defense. It is a pretty decent weapon, actually. If we look at it, it does have a decent amount of damage, stun, and speed. I would say it's better than the spear all around. It does, you know, swing slower, but you can dodge a lot of the enemy's attacks easily. 
So right now it is starting to get night and a quick tip. If it's getting night and you don't want it to be night, just go ahead and turn your gamma up rather high. I've known some people to do it all the way. I definitely can't do that, but that will brighten up your nighttime if you don't want to have that happen. That is very unfortunate. When that happens, you put your weapon away and you run the other way. So when in doubt, pull your spear out. There is a juice box too up in the trees that drips out. There it is that drips out juice. But the main goal is to use our spear here, throw it at the berry and get that sucker to come on down. You get about three chunks per, and then you gotta wait for your spear to fall. Or unless you can reach it, you can jump up and grab it. We can use our axe to throw too. So now I have six chunks in total. This spider is deciding to be kind of a prick. This berry here will give me an additional three, so I have a nine. And then there is one more berry over here that I know we can reach easy by throwing a weapon and that will give us the 12 we need before we have to run back. Use the lasers as a reference. You see there's the laser. You can see the slight purple from the other laser. So then boom, home is somewhere right around in that general direction. Super simple. Now that's the spider you want to watch out for. That's, that's big. That's, that's the big spider. That, yeah. He lives under that head, but you know, they're fairly easy to, to dodge, so just be mindful, look around you, don't be staring at the ground, you know, and that's it. Should be alright from there. Now once we get back here, what we can choose to do, oh god, don't fall into the big creepy, okay, we fell into the big creepy crevice and we get a, ooh, we get a, another one of these guys. And now we run out of the creepy crevice. And then we look up just to get our bearings. There's one laser. That means the other laser has got to be somewhere over there because of how it's pointed. You know, it's pointed down there. So home has got to be somewhere right over there. Or, oh, see, there's that mysterious machine. And here is the baseball. All right, now that we've come this far, we want to go to the analyzing machine. We want to scan the ant club. Then we want to scan the berry chunk. Now we want to back out and you want to make a berry leather. which I, I need a workbench for. Now that we got that, we go ahead, come back here, and we analyze the leather, which gives us the ability to make insect hammer bandages. We go ahead and make a few of these puppies. After we decide to make a couple bandages, we want to make sure we go to our juicer machine and make as many of these as we can, which will be the green machine. Set of them, let's make some more. Okay. Reason being is, is those are an absolute lifesaver. They are much better than pretty much everything else. So I will put those as my primary go-to. And now we also have to make acorn legs. Okay. We place those on our action bar. And we are ready to go fight some ants. Follow the dry grass and the green grass. Going past that rake, toward the shed, 
you should see that ant hill. Uh, there it is. We are gonna get ready. And we're gonna go in. You wanna try to conserve your stamina as the soldiers require a few blunts to the head. Here he is. So here they come. Go ahead and start taking your potion. Okay, well, I don't know why the mallet kept disappearing. But we got what we needed. Okay, now that we're here and we've got our mandibles, we can go ahead and make our ant club. Substantially better, as you see, in damage and stun. So with this ant club, we can put this garbage rotten thing away. I don't care for much of the other things. Our shoes have broke, but that's alright. We have our gear now that we need. We don't have to worry about the shoes. I'm literally going to put pretty much everything else away as the only thing that concerns me now is going to be making that level 2 hammer. Equip our uh, awesome gear. And spam make. So that should be enough. 20 is usually a good number. Alright. Now that we got our big ant club and we're all decked out in our uncrackable gear, let's go get us some bombardier parts. Just run right past the mites. Okay. Bombardier. Your mine. So this is why you want the potions and the bandages. We're gonna need two of these suckers. And they are no fun. Because they do that. Two stink bugs, though. So if you can get them both. You killed my ant friend. All right. We have made the insect mallet. Crack open this sucker. Then you gotta crouch specifically. Do you hear that noise? If you're sitting here and you hear that noise, if you hear this, you're not hitting the mint chunk. If you hear that, you're hitting the mint chunk. notice there's a bushel of flowers over there the closer one will be just past the anthill do you see those flowers up there that's what we're going for we want those flowers but in between us and those flowers there do be a lot of spiders once we've come around from the left side like I said make sure you avoid the spiders don't go through the middle of that uh, 
wood dealy fence there and collect all the ones that fall because getting eight is really no biggie already at two three just watch for those spiders that's four I believe I can make these this flower paddle before he comes back. Oh, nope, I got stuck. And this flower paddle. There, we have eight. So now we can choose to go and backtrack or we can cut by the tree. We now have a mint mallet. We can get rid of the club and the insect hammer as the mint mallet doubles us both club and hammer to break things. Thank you for watching. This has been a tutorial by Bill Sabup. I'm also on Twitch as Trinal G. Hope to see you around.